I'm gonna fuck her around here, right? Oh, she hates us not. No zoom. Don't tell me to rotate device. Top chat. TBL hockey, what's up? You're non, what's good? Patches, Sapphire. Come on, pups. Cat, what's up? Steve G, what's good? Brandon Sun, what's up, man? How you guys doing, man? Introduce you guys to my puppies formally, man. I've shown them a bunch on my Twitch and on my IG. I fell in love with this breed of dogs, so I started collecting these puppies so I could breed them. This is my Sadie right here. Sadie, she absolutely loves digging so much. She digs and digs and digs and sticks her fucking face in it. Sadie, she is like nine months old and she is pregnant right now. She came into her first tee and got pregnant with Patches. Patches! 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 What's up, Ray Kramer? What's up? An old pug off a hand's friend. I don't know, but there's lots of rescues and people who are in the dogs, man. They will take care of the dogs. So just look for some rescues. I'm going to be starting up an official kennel and I'll be having a rescue too. I'm going to get my rescue license as well. Sapphire. This is Sapphire. He's a blue tuxedo. Hazel is a red tri. What's up, Gilbert? Why do you love the breed? Ah, uh, let's see. I spent some time with Boom Extracts and he had a couple little dogs. He had like a Italian Greyhound and a, a little uh, a Chihuahua, Chihui Hui. And those dogs had really sick ass personalities. They were really friendly. And then I spent some with my wife's brother and he had a little mix that was a Rat Terrier Chihuahua. And that dog was literally the coolest fucking dog. It was so friendly that I just wanted to fucking get a little dog. So I got Sadie, she was my first one. And I got her and she was so small. And I was like, you know what, she needs a friend. So then I got Patches and then I had two of them and they were both tiny compared to Dasher. And I was like, you know what, fuck. I could have like three or four of these motherfuckers. And I was like, I could have five or six of these things. And now my brain's like, fuck. I could have like 12, 16, 18 of these motherfucking little dogs because I love them so much. So I've been getting into these dogs, started building them a kennel, and then my whole fucking house burned down. I'll do a video, I'll fucking show you guys. It took me a while. I actually fucking got fucking, like, I'm normally always a super fucking happy guy my whole life. So I actually fucking got sad over this shit. Been off social media for a minute. But, uh, you know, here's what it is, man. It's real life shit over here. Real life shit. Yo, custom, you like big dogs? I mean, I've always liked big dogs. I honestly didn't really like little dogs. I thought little dogs were fucking stupid my whole life. Sapphire! Sadie's gonna stay out there digging. She won't come until it's time to go. Patches! Patches is my guy. He's so sick. Patches! Hazelnut. We got her from Texas. No, Sapphire from Texas, her from Missouri, Patches from here in Iowa, and Sadie, fuck, from Michigan. No, Hazel from Michigan. Hazel from Michigan from a breeder who's been doing it for 25 years. He's been breeding Jack Russells. So he's got these dogs down just the way he likes them. We got the blue one from Texas. Did you end up losing all your bongs and bangers? If Yeah, I did. I ended up losing. There might be a lung buster in the garage that was packed away that didn't get absolutely destroyed. I don't know. When we do the demo of the house, we'll fucking figure it out. It was a total loss, though. We've been in a hotel now for fucking a few weeks. Figuring out what to do right now. Kids will probably be with Grandma for a little bit through the winter while I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. 
but yeah, I'm gonna try to probably rebuild the house. But the whole fucking fucked up thing is, is like we just bought the house last year, and like so we've been paying into this mortgage for like 11 months now. So they'll clear the house and they'll reloan us money, but I can't rebuild the house that I had for the money that for the same amount. So it is what it is. We're figuring it out right now. We'll figure it out. Reeves from Michigan, what's up? Jace. Jace fucking uh Jace uh, story. This is Jace was fucking with a lighter and, and caught a blanket on fire and it fucking it was on the railing and so that fucking dropped downstairs and it lit the downstairs and the upstairs on fire. <sighs> Get, got some fruit cakes. Uh, Jennifer Lynn Schlubber! Good boy, Sapphire. Sapphire. Patches, come here. These puppies will not say hi right now. They love being out here. They just run. Star Lord, what's good? Yeah, the insurance will cover the house, but we didn't have no personal property insurance on the house. I'm not the one who did the fucking paperwork. It is what it is. I'll bring you I'll show you guys the house. I'll fucking bring you over there and show you guys. <clears throat> I'll show you guys. This is what I've been doing though lately. The pups. Sadie! <sighs> Make vapes now. Nah. Sadie's ass just back there, man. She will not. She loves these. She loves these fields, man. She gets out here and just digs for these fucking rats. Is my weed gone? Yeah, I actually don't have any weed right now. I don't have no flowers right now. I've been out of flowers for a couple days. Are your lungs messed up? Nah. I'll still out smoke any one of you fools. How are you gonna what's this what, what the fuck? How are you gonna disrespect Boomo after everything he did for you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Don't get it fucked up, man. For everything he did for you. This motherfucker. I don't even want to get into it right now, man. How did I disrespect Boom? This motherfucker told me. He had my back. When the fire happened, I called him immediately. I got it all on screenshot. I got every fucking text, everything. He told me, don't worry, I got your back through this. Multiple times. Fucking tried to call him. And he ghosted me. So, and that motherfucker tried to make me think the whole time that if I ever had any fucking problem, that he would have my back. When my house burned, I didn't reach out to nobody. You fucking ask nobody for nothing. The one person who I thought I could fucking ask something for. So I did. I said, hey, could you send me a little bit of money? My house burned down. I got to take my family to the hotel for a couple days to figure shit out. So I said, could you either send me a little bit of money or pay me for next month's promo early? That's what I asked him. And then he ghosted me. And then he hit me up and said, I got you. I got you. I got you. And then I called him. I went over to the burned out house and I called him and he didn't pick up. And I video called him on IG and he didn't pick up. So after that, I will never, ever, 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 ever ask that person for anything ever again. Joke's on me. I was a fool for fucking thinking that uh, there was actually somebody out there that might actually help in a fucking hard time. So be careful the people you fuck with. Because, like, you might actually realize that they might actually not be there for you when you're in your hardest fucking time. So, no disrespect to nobody. Just fucking real. So, yeah, like, um, the people who fucking don't even barely know me, you know what I mean? Like, Burning Bush. I fucking have been buying their shit for a long time. That's fire-ass rosin. Uh, they heard that my house burned down. I hit them up. I was like, hey, man, I need to fucking buy a 
something, right? They fucking shot me a package off the muscle. Nothing, man. Nothing. They're like, keep your money. We're sending you a package. Get through this time. Fucking they know what I'm going through. I didn't expect that from them at fucking all. I had people step up like fucking Metal Damien. I don't know if you guys know him, but this motherfucker out the blue found out what I was doing. Shot me 40 bucks over to my cash app. It's not a big fucking deal. It's not about the money. Motherfucker shot me 40 bucks. I went and bought my kids a couple toys with it immediately. Another dude that I met out here, Joe Hummel, since I moved out here to Iowa, he heard my situation, shot 100 bucks over to my cash app. He's like, go buy some food. I went and bought the kids a couple toys with it. So there was people who fuck, and some like random lady at Target don't even know me. Fucking, I was talking to the cashier about our situation when I was buying the kids a couple things right away after the fire. Some lady heard my story fucking behind me. She's like, hold on right there and stop me. And then she fucking bought a fucking Visa gift card and handed it to me, a $100 Visa gift card. So like a random lady, Metal Damien and Burning Bush stepped, not a big deal, they stepped up fucking and did something in our hardest time and it was just a big shocker because motherfuckers who are really close to me fucking, I don't know, it's not a big deal man, I'll get through anything by my motherfucking self, but it's just a fucking, it was just a big wake up call, it's a big wake up call, so. I didn't disrespect fucking boom extracts at all. If you guys wanna see me disrespect somebody, you'll know it when I'm disrespecting somebody. Believe that. You'll know that shit. You'll know what it's like. You'll feel exactly what I'm feeling. You'll know it. So Scorpion King, don't trip. I'm not gone. I'll be I'm here. I'm here. I'm raising my fucking puppies. I'm getting ready to breed these fucking rat terriers. Where's Sapphire at? Sadie! Sapphire! Hazel! Uh, patches! Patches! These are my babies. Patches! Come here! Patches! Patches, patches. Follow my uh, IG page for the dogs. It's called Mini Cow Dogs on IG. Sapphire! Hazel! These are my babies. You the man? Well, thanks, Dad Marino. Some say best friends are my hands. <laughs> Jolie was finally able to move to a legal state this year. Good luck, man. Ryan Kelly, it's dollar sign Joel Radeski. Don't worry about it though, brother. I'm fucking, I'm gonna make it through this motherfucking time and then like I always do, no matter what. Bro, I've been from the fucking bottom Made it back up and now back down to a bottom. I mean, life is ebbs and flows, it's ups and downs. Right now, I would say this is a pretty good bottom right now, but it's okay. Are you and Shoe Nice friends? I mean, he was talking hella shit last time. He was all fucked up on pills and then he fucking called me and then he fucking apologized and shit. Um, Shoe Nice, I think, is gonna go on through it with his addiction still. You know, and he really loves his family. I talked shit about him last time. I was like, fuck you, you left your kids, you don't take care of your kids, and you're just out drinking and shit. And then he called me all fucking crying and was like, dude, I fucking love my kid. My fucking woman's evil. She keeps him from me. And it's like, oh, I can I can understand that shit. So I don't got no ill will to shoe nice. And honestly, I don't fucking got no ill will towards fucking nobody, man. There you can't even be like that in this world anymore. No I'm upset with some people, but I ain't going, I don't sit with hate in my heart. I'm a happy motherfucker for the most part. I do want to come, I do, I do want to come back and be like, we're about to keep it real on all these motherfucking fake ass motherfuckers in the industry. You know what I hate? Fake ass, fake laughing. I'm sick and tired of scrolling through IG and seeing these motherfuckers acting like they're doing shit that's funny or that really makes them laugh. And they're all, ha, 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 ha. I can't stand this fake ass fucking laughter anymore. I think I, I should come back and just be like the moderator or what the fuck's going on in the scene and just like start watching videos and be like, man, these motherfuckers are fake. Start talking shit. I think that shit would be funny as fuck. Are you finding it hard to not smoke? No. I stopped smoking. I mean, I'm not, don't get it twisted. I'm out of flowers, but I'm not out of hash right now. Fuck. Get it fucking twisted. Uh, <laughs> but 
Now I've gone through periods of time in my life where I didn't smoke many times. Even like last time I thought that I had to clean up and do a fucking assessment. I stopped smoking for 30 days. I went in there and did the assessment and then they didn't even fucking piss test me. I was like, fuck, I stopped smoking weed that whole fucking time for that. I stopped smoking. I didn't even have to motherfucking smoke. God damn it. I didn't have to stop. People are fake. Yeah. You put hair on the map, bro. I don't even want to fucking. I don't even want to talk about it, man. It fucking hurts my fucking heart. It hurts my heart. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I was going to reach out to nobody. Harry hit me up. And I told him fucking, you know, I lost my house. And then fucking, I was supposed to buy two quartz castles from him before all this shit. I was going to buy them from him. And he's like, have you hit up Chris Schuler? And I was like, dude, you said you had 10. I want to buy two from you. What's your cash at, fucker? And he's like, okay, I got you. And then my house burned down and Harry's like, he hit me up and he's like, I'll send you a rig and a quartz castle. What's the address? And I shot him over the address to my, to our mother-in-law's where we're accepting mail right now because our house burned down and then nothing ever can. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. No fucking, it's just, just what it is, man. You appreciate my content? Well, that's what's up, man. I appreciate everybody fucking here. Anybody who's ever watched any of my shit anytime over the motherfucking years, even if you didn't really like it, appreciate it, man. I do. Appreciate all of my followers. I've lived a fucking, an amazing life that I would never fucking take back or change. Fucking, it was an amazing fucking time. Fucking in the cannabis industry. When it was popping, it's been fucking kind of, it's kind of stale lately. The events have been kind of fucking, eh. The people and the vibes are just, you know. I mean, you know, you guys know. Mike, Alard, I'm glad you like my content, man. I've honestly been thinking about doing some, uh, like I said, today was my first time. I was like, I'm gonna pop this live on and share some of my puppies, man. I think I'm gonna show you guys some more of my life, you know, and show you the process of what the fuck I'm at. I'll probably take you guys to ground zero, take you guys to my house, show you guys where the fuck I'm at right now because it's just burned the fuck down we're in a hotel right now for a few weeks and then i'll show you guys and probably keep you guys updated on my fucking progress why not and sadie she's preggers right now for like three weeks already she got pregnant at the beginning of november so she will have babies around the first of the year we'll have some valentine's puppies sadie and patches my first two where were you living before california no i was living in washington been watching nearly for real for the beginning. So appreciate you for for doing you and you owe. I don't know if you're a real one. Been watching you every day. I'm not bad. Days. Thank you, do Grimmons. Clock can't. What up, YouTube? YouTube. What up? Jolly Oldy coming at you. For custom girl for 20. This is it. I'm a channel design for cannabis patients. And adults. Let's go. <laughs> Sam Heads, my mother in law did do a GoFundMe. I wasn't interested in doing anything like that. My wife and her mom did something. They put it together because they had family members that were trying to donate and they didn't have an easy way to do it. So they did put it together to go find me. So there's one out there for for my wife and her mother. <clears throat> Wicked FPV. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Thank you, though. Appreciate you. Can you take off your hat? No, not right now. I just fucking got up. My fucking hair's all fucked up, man. I've been sleeping all fucking night. It's a morning walk with the pups right now. Fuck, man. Full head of hair still. Don't trip. We're not bald under here. Take off my hat and the fucking mullet comes off with it. Dude, paralyzed. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. Get the fuck out of here. There you go. Nobody got fucking scam full. 
fucking retard. That's all the motherfuckers who happily got motherfucking product. The only people I pl plug are real plugs, bro. We push real fucking plugs around here. Real plugs. Please let me know what I can do, bro. You've helped my life in more ways than you know. Hey, Jack M, just keep showing up, man. That's all. You just keep showing up, man. Appreciate it. What do we got? We got Sadie Sapphire. Sadie. Where the hell did she go? Come on, Patches. Hey, Hazel, come on. Come on, pups. My blue one, my red one. Where's my other black and white one? Come on. Sadie! Preggers! Where did she go? Sadie! Where the hell did Sadie go? I'm freak out here in a second. Sadie! She was right up here. Oh. Where'd she go, Patches? Where's your girlfriend? Sadie! I did not lose my dog, you stupid motherfucker. She's a rat terror and she loves these fields and she just digs and digs. Bye bye dog, I'll fucking kill you. Sadie! Patches, you got a rat? Gross. Yeah, she's looking for something. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Let me go find Sadie.